Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and this week I'm going to discuss the difference between blow through and draw through fan configurations. Okay, so sometimes you'll hear that an air handler or maybe any fan in water coil system is either blow through or draw through configuration. What they're referring to is a location of the blower with respect to the water coils. So let's draw a blower here and we'll put in this case a cooling coil over here. Now the air is coming out of the blower and is blowing through the water coil. So that is a blow through configuration. Down here let's look at the draw through. So in this case you've got your water coil first and your blower over here and it's going to pull air and draw it through the water coil. Okay, so let me make a little bit of room and let's just look at a fan. Maybe it's mounted to a discharge panel and connected to some duct work. So the velocity profile coming out of the blower is going to kind of look like this, where at the top of the blower where the air is coming, it's got a higher velocity and as it moves down the duct work, it eventually evens out into a more uniform flow. On the inlet side of the fan, the flow is coming in pretty uniform from all sides, so at any point in, say, ductwork over here, it would be about the same velocity. So if you were to put a water coil right here in this section of a blower in a blow-through configuration, you may not get uniform flow across the coil face, whereas if you put a water coil back here, you should get pretty uniform flow across the face of the coil. So when you look at how the air is moving, if you need more even flow, you'll want to have a draw-through configuration. If you use blow-through in these situations, you may need to put the coil further away from the fan to allow for the air to become more uniform, and then that'll add length to the unit, which will add cost and take up more space. For this reason, most air handlers are draw-through. One benefit to blow-through configuration is that the heat from the motor is not added to the airstream after the coil. Whereas a draw-through system, the heat coming off the motor will be added to that air that's being supplied to the space. So you'd want to account for this in your system design. So that's the difference between blow-through and draw-through configurations. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking a time out with us.